Welcome to the confidence interval for the variance and standard deviation calculator for masscelebrity.com. To get to this calculator, you type confidence interval and your selection will pop up. So we've got three inputs on this lesson. We've got our N, our sample variance, and our confidence interval percentage. So we'll go ahead and press standard deviation confidence interval. So the first line kind of just summarizes your problem. It gives you the formula whether you're running the variance or standard deviation. Next it finds the degrees of freedom. Next your alpha. Then your low end confidence interval value. We also show you how to get this value in Excel, which is pretty cool. Then we calculate the low end confidence interval amount. And then we do the same for the high end, as we did for the low end. So here's your Excel value, here's your chi-squared value, and here's your high end value. And then we build your interval. So here was a 14877 that goes here, and here's the 3973, or 23 that goes here. I'll go ahead and press variance. And it's going to go through almost the exact same set of steps. The only difference is the formula changes. So I've got our degrees of freedom, our alpha, our low end value, our high end value, and our interval. So we'll go ahead and change a couple values here. We'll make this 12, make this 3.52, and we'll make this 96. Let's do 95. Most problems do that. We'll do standard deviation. So it loaded our new sample size 12 units, 95%. And our sample variance. So we scroll down here. And again, it goes through the same steps alpha, low end, high end. And then it builds your interval. That's pretty much it. We also have a generate practice problem button. If you followed some of our videos before, you know what this does. This will just generate a completely random practice problem for you. A random N, random sample variance, and the confidence interval percentage. Press this button again. And another problem is loaded. And then if you want, you can press either of these buttons and it will run that random problem with all the math for you. If you've got any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.